Hello everyone, this is Masuma here, a special needs educator and a trainer. In this video, I am going to perform 10 functional fine motor activities which will develop a child's fine motor control, stronger grips and writing ability in a progressive manner. And before my uh, activity start, I would like to discuss about the fine motor skills. What is fine motor skills? Fine motor skill is the ability to make movements using small muscle groups in our wrist and hands. Fine motor skills is the critical activities to completing activities that we do in our daily life such as brushing teeth, washing face, brushing our hair, dressing up, zipping up our jacket, typing a quick email, sending, replying a message, using the key to unlock the door, eating food using spoon and fork, to carry foods in our mouth and the list goes on. And very interesting thing about the fine motor skills is uh, it always builds on the gross motor skills. And what is gross motor skills? Gross motor skills is the larger movements using the larger muscle groups such as abs, shoulders, our backs, our stomachs and the activity, larger activities such as climbing up the ladder, climbing up and down the stairs, running up and down, running around, jumping up and down, many, many more. But very important things about the gross motor skills, without the gross motor support, strength, and the gross motor ability, it is very difficult and it is impossible to perform a fine motor activities. Just imagine a child is going to write her name using a pencil to write her name. And just I'm going to describe how much ability does she need to sit down on a chair. She needs to have a balance and enough strength on her neck, on her shoulders, on her stomach, on her back to sit on a chair and use her eye-hand coordination to use the pencil to write her name. She still needs to sit stay on a chair without falling. So how important is the gross motor skill to help a person to do their small tasks using wrist and hands. Another example, just imagine a child is going to use a smaller key to unlock a door. The child needs to, still in her body needs to get a pretty still and strength to make her stand have a balance she has to stand get the small key place the small key into the lock use her eye hand coordination and turn her hand to unlock the unlock the door so she, how much strength she needs to have in her bigger muscle groups so without the support from the bigger muscle groups, it will be very difficult work for a child to complete her small tasks using the, her wrist and hands. So uh, this is the things, uh, our both the uh, gross motor and fine motor, both are connected. So we need to have the ability uh, in our bigger muscle groups to perform our small muscle groups. Okay, 
so anyway back to business our topic is fine motor activities today and I am going to perform uh, now please uh, I would have without I am showing the activities and the methods how I do for my one-to-one -one classes but you can use anything you do not have to go and purchase new things to use that you can whatever in your house have you can manipulate the things to make the child to continue their fine motors in order to for their gripping hand control fine motor control and writing abilities thank you yeah here is my first activity uh, I call this activity pencil eraser and sharpener activities so what we do as you can see here lots of pencil with the eraser it's a colorful picture on the eraser they love to have this and do the activities so I just ask them it is instructional I just like for if the child is one-to-one -one, so I put six pencils in front of her and I keep another six in front of me to show her instruct her show her to follow so at first I tell the pencil has an eraser now what we have to do we have to do our pencil need to sharpen and we have the sharpener give one sharpener to her the child and the one sharpener you keep so we need to remove the eraser first sharpen the pencil just ask them instruction to continue and the child will remove hold the pencil in one hand and the eraser is quite harder remove next one remove then hold remove leave the eraser here and leave the pencils here remove then the next one then the child will remove all six eraser from the pencils now the instruction is you have all the erasers what you have to do you have to sharpen one pencil to write with so the child this the child look at the hole of course the child will have a ability to look through the hole because the previous experience she will know how to put in the sharpener normally the child loves sharpening pencils in my experience all the children they love sharpening and sometimes I need to hide the sharpener from them so pencil start sharpening let the child hold the uh, hold the sharpener in one hand and twist the pencils until and ask her check that I will do for her and she will follow me by the way the pencil will be sharpened and the next exercise is I have a piece of paper here write something draw something or you can scribble for the child now being we are doing very nice activity and we have to use our eraser tell her like that way so we have to erase look at that this is your paper and teacher scribble or you draw something and you have to erase and you have to draw something with your new pencil so the child will hold the eraser start erasing and keep encourage no you have to clean the paper make the paper white you have to erase clean so as long as the child will continue erasing you know she will she has a balance she will put her left hand on the paper and use the right hand holding the eraser erase the things and later erase move the pencil her eye and hand coordination is going on her motor skills especially her gripping with two hands or two fingers or three fingers and hand and finger position is continue working so let the child erase keep erasing until the paper gets whiter as before she will erase and erase and erase until the paper gets 
activity. So our eraser activities is done here. Pencil is sharpened and let the child do more pencil to sharpen if she likes to do. It's a good exercise. One of the best fine motor activities to me, sharpening pencil, erasing, erasing with the eraser, writing. This is the strongest grip, you know, when they erase something on the paper. Sharpening. This is one of the good activities. Daily activities need to do sharpening. Sometimes I have a lots of uh, pencils. I never throw the pencil and I make them use. I have lots of color pencil. You want to do this paper of coloring. So you have to sharpen all the pencil. I never have them sharpening. I sharpen and give them. I encourage them. You must sharpen. You must use the pencil. Once it is blunt, do the sharpening. So this is the way. After finish, I ask them, put back the eraser. Again, they will look at the hole, hold the eraser, and put in. So this is the way. Every time, we use the same way. Put into the hole. Put into the hole. So I make it one by one. Take the eraser, put into it. Take the eraser, put into it. Then take the eraser, put into it. Then, after finish the activities, I give another uh, uh, instruction. I have a box, the different hole for the pencils, and ask them, our activity is done, we are putting back into the box, but pencil can't go, they will be standing because they have a nice face on the eraser face. So make them, they will happily will do this activity. So they will look at the hole, Put all the eraser inside. Let them continue like that. So what did we do? We remove the eraser, make them erase, uh, make them erase, sharpen the pencils, putting them back. Putting all the eraser back into the pencil, then put into the boxes. That's last job. So they will love, to, they will love to do it, really. Then just change, change our pencil, sometimes change the eraser. Sometimes you can buy some white eraser, you can draw what they like. This is the way I do my exercise. Okay, this activity is done here. Then next comes, as you can see here, I have some pens these are the highlighters actually and what have in my class i call, i have a lot of collection of this you can see what i do i open and some are finished it's recycling i never throw because i am using for their gripping so this is a ball if they are left-handed I use them with the left hand. If they are right handed, I encourage them to hold with the right hand and close the cap. They already practiced earlier with other things to closing. So now it's a sharpen points. They will close. Next one. They hold, they will close. And always encourage, please, for writing exercises, encourage hold the Hold the ball, like ball. This is a ball shaped pen. Hold the ball with three fingers. These three fingers. Always make them encourage. Pick with three fingers. Two fingers close. Use the three fingers. Hold it and put it back. Close it. Hold it. Open. Close. Hold. Open. Close. Sometimes you can open all the caps for them. Ask them to put it back. They will look at the color. They will match with it. They'll do. But encourage them not to grab like this. For the writing exercises, use the three fingers first. And uh, yes. So each time, even the bead activities, ask them to pinch. Uh, the pinch hold with three fingers, like teacher. Show them. You hold. She, uh, the child has to follow you. This is one of the activities. Okay. Then I have something here. 
for their fine motor. So ask them, can you remove this? I have some screw in it. And teacher wants to remove it, can't do it. Can you try? And if you give this to child, the child will pull as much as the child can do. And this is the way, you know, she will use three fingers, both the hands, three fingers to remove. The just let her open, remove. She will twist, she will open. Here is a screw. And it looks like a, it will come out. But no, it, it, it doesn't come out. It fixed. But the child will know because of the, this is, this it moves. It has a little spring in it. Look like all the screws will come out. The child will love to do, use this. 10 minutes, the child will do that. Next, I have this program. I have a balls with the holes. And there is the activities. Child will hold this. I have some sticks here. And let the child fix it. First you show. Put the stick here. And get another ball. And put it like this. Then you put again. Once the child will first instruction give. The two balls will go both the side. Then another stick you say. One ball will go here. And the other and the end. The blue ball will be here. So. The child will nice to do it and put one box here to continue and here the blue balls goes first then the red balls green balls first then the yellow this is the way the child will continue then you can make the another pattern here. You have another uh, stick. You put inside. Put another ball. Another stick. Once the child will continue, they will build their by their own. We don't have to instruct. And as long as they will continue, their fine motor is really improving their holding their eye hand coordination their gripping their hand control finger position eye hand coordination everything will be working together so this is one of the activities now i'm going to do some peg activity this is a tray it's a fruit cutter tray so i i use this tray for the child to hold make it a stand hold with one hand and use and I use the peg with fish so there is a pool I just make the story for them there is a pool fish are swimming can you put some more fish into there into the pool the child will happily put there they will hold the uh, hold the boat and keep putting ask the child if not you can ask her to put on the place on the table sometimes the children they like to use two hands to set up because of their balance so they will use here like this the all the fish will go into the pool the child will love to do that and these are Two hand. The child will use two uh, two fingers to open and fix it. Even after finish all the activities, let them remove. Open and remove. Don't pull. Open and remove. Make their fingers keep working with the pain. This is one of the very uh, good activities for their gripping. Pencil hands gripping. Position, control. And the hands they will know how much to open then it will go and release fine motor control very important activities the peg activities so make it because they will get fed up is, is the same time same pegs and same activities make it interesting for them to do so
so they will do this way fish goes into the pool okay then i made another boat this is a forest some dinosaurs i just made by myself and i put i paste all the pictures on the on the pe peg the children will use the peg they used to know then all the can you put more dinosaur into it in the forest they will put by that way they will know the animal's name they will know the tree you describe they will talk about the picture they will look at it they will use their fine motor their eye hand coordination they will look at it they will do a lot of activities by that way so here they can place on the table and can do they can stand if the child is able to do this is a good way make it to stand use one hand use the two fingers to open it and let it go keep doing the activities one tray finish if the child uh, the child can choose which uh, which board she will like keep them you can set put it them separately to make them continue all the animals goes here okay this is one and i had i have another board with the buttons and my children they love the colorful buttons and here are some different kinds of pegs you can see this is the wooden one and it is okay let them use the different types so they will know how much pressure they have to put with the fingers to open it and let it go they put some more buttons in the button box on the tray you can make a story tell them let them continue as long as they will do their activities here is a i put all separately once the child will able to do all this you can mix with them give them the board and they will sort by themselves so in the beginning we have to know how to do in order so this is the way we continue okay these are my bag activities and i have I made one board here and if the they use this peg if they use standing way they will learn the color they will put in that way it is very good for their manipulation their flexibility the child's you know must be lower and put her hands upwards and fix the pegs so this is one of the nice way to do sometimes we can teach them uh you put the blue blue then you put a uh, pay up a uh, uh, red on the red green on the green give them instruction and do sometimes this is a box like that sometimes you put the box here ask the child to continue just continue putting the child will do by you know by her way or his way to do if they love it by that way keep doing don't give the same activities again and again so i have different materials sometimes i buy sometimes i just give uh, unusual things this morning one of my child did this you know what is this this is a stool <laughs> and i give the, i make it upside down and ask the child she loves to do this and i ask the child to put the packs on still i did not remove many of them so give this way anything you can find at home ask the child to continue as long as she will open leave open again keep making our hand exercises back doing two hands two gripping she will have the balance she will know next time which packs how much pressure she has to put there are different kind very easy to go some are harder and i have some more pack activities this is the one this is my favorite one the child will use three fingers to open this two fingers show them 
instruction two fingers on top one the thumb will go uh, down then open open close open close a bit harder a bit flexible so the child this one would be very helpful for her next step and i have another harder one i use for the child sometimes my children are very smart they will use like this and give the pressure doesn't matter as long as they will continue with the fingers and i have some fingers let the child do some child has small hands what they do open like this it's okay all right wrist and hands working together and or one two one two like some hand exercises continue different way we can give them activities my next activity is glitter glue tubes you can see here some glitter bottles these are the tubes actually and this is the nice way i can make them do their fine motors and here you can see there is a paper plate it's a plastic actually made of plastic it's not the paper and with a marker pen i put some spots here for them to visualize so by that way they won't waste and they will know it will develop their pressing hand movements and hand control this is fine motor control how much to put on the onto the spot here are lots of dots they will put just accordingly and will go through so they will choose their own glitter tubes as the line they they will put so i make them do the ray okay i make them do first what color you like fetch the child will take the child's favorite color and use the two hand to press and press here like this goes on the board not so much and have to remind them not so much onto the dot put on the dot put here sometimes we can point put here okay you can change the tube then the child will take the green color so press and put on the dot then put on the dot put on the dot put on the dot what color do you like then child will take the blue color then press and leave it press the tube and let it go don't press so hard so they will have their balance from where to they will pump how many times and it falls and they have to release this is the control so they will learn a lot here and their eye hand coordination their finger movements their finger control everything will work together the child and they will love to do it then the next in case the child will take orange still the dots are there the child will put until they put on the dots then later on what we can do we can draw something draw some lines that's very important draw straight lines draw sleeping lines what i teach i never say them vertical and the horizontal line say standing line sleeping line slanting line curved line follow that so this is one of the way also they will put the glitter glitter glue onto the line their eye hand coordination and plus their hand control their finger controls their pressing ability everything will go together let the child do lot many many way just find out the activities change it sometimes change the things sometimes change the uh, things you are doing sometimes change the plate change the paper paper to other activities make them know make them do you can see this is the way child will do once they will know how to pour and let it go how to control use them using the lines they will keep practicing on the lines all the all the curving lines different patterns you know to follow the patterns 
their hand movement, their pressing immediately press, where to stop, when to start, how much to pour, how to go on as direction onto the dotted lines or the lines given as instruction, they will continue. This is one of the very good way their fine motor, both the hands, they're creeping, grasps. Okay, another activity is here. Here I have some stones, bigger stones. And here I have some sand, colored sands. And here is a tray. I always use for them. And uh, always apply the things, pour the things in front of them. So they will learn how to how to hold and pour from one container to another container. And they will love to watch how you prepare the things. Okay, from this bottle to all the stone goes on the tray. Quite bigger stones for them to pick. So each time encourage pick with three fingers, not two fingers. Quite bigger things. It's the bigger objects like beads, stones and something bigger is them. These three fingers will help them to hold the pencil and write later on. So here are some bigger stones and this is the bottle. Another activity for them to do now. You place already in front of them, then ask them, pour the sands, then they will pour. Then pour the sands, they will pour. Actually, sands are not here, it's not pouring. So what you can do, ask them, pour. They will feel fun to do it. Then here are some purple color sands, cover them. Or you can, you can pour also for them. So what they will do, next, okay, now I have a box here for different colors. As you can see here, uh, here's a different container. For them, you have to give the instruction, follow the instruction for the different colors. So they will put. So for green, Sort green, put here. Green goes here. Pink goes here. Yellow goes here. Purple goes here. Red goes here. White goes here. Yellow goes here. Each time they will pick one stone, they will fill, they will hold, and they will put as instructions. So each time until the tray is covered, encourage them because this is a quite bigger. And uh, like yellow will go to two, two rooms and the purple will go to the two rooms. They will continue, you know, to work, finding out all. If, if it is filled up, give another container to fill it up as instruction. They will fill, they will find, they will look at it and they will hold. They will grip like this with three fingers. Each time encourage, wash their hands, how they are picking up. Encourage them to correct them. Sometimes you can physically, you know, you can, you can prompt them. Like hold like this, close two fingers and pick. You can hold like this, ask the child to pick with three fingers and pour, pick and pour, pick and pour, encourage them. So this is the activities actually, uh, 10 to 20 minutes you can continue with them until all the stones go to the containers. Thank you. And the next activity and my next activity is rubber band activity, rubber band and the pipe cleaners will do will go to the same pillar this is i introduced the child this is a pillar and uh, what we have to do we have lots of colorful uh, rubber bands what we have to do we have to decorate it 
So we have the white pillar. You put the green elastic. Then you try to stretch it. And go from the up to down. Give them some stretch on green. Then red. Then we'll go orange. So put the, ask them stretch and put it down then you can roll it down then get the yellow stretch the rubber band with two fingers everything they will do with the fingers don't encourage them the whole hand two fingers stretch make it white sometimes play with them this is also one of the good activities just simply play the rubber band with the fingers put two hands and stretch stretch so it will go on the pillar and go down leave the rubber band if it is up and down ask them to adjust it you do put more down we are going to put more here is a purple color stretch put up and put here then ask them to adjust go down then take the red Put up and go down. Okay, so this is the thing. Sometimes I use for the rubber bands. And I ask them, these are the pipe cleaners which we already used to for their eye-hand coordination. Giving, They have been doing my children all they knew already how to do it so i make the new way how to now i'm trying to put them how to make a twist and tie make a bow like a shoelaces how to make the shoelaces so in the beginning before i teach them how to make a bow still they not yet many of them they don't know how to do it so roll it you hold this one or you put some stones into the box so it will be heavier for them to do easy roll it and just twist you know this can be twist very fast twist don't have to make more so get the red one then you go put your hand behind and do they will try their best to do this then make cross and twist leave it so it will be like that get the blue one uh, get the green one and put it from here to there make a cross put it like this hold make it cross and twist it's time they will do their fingers are working doesn't matter they or they or they can't do very they are not very perfect they can't do perfectly let them participate and one time it will come out second time they will try again ask them to stretch again try again do it again other way so the orange it will go from behind then come in front, make a cross and twist. Then comes the pink. Go behind, make them front, cross and twist. Then get the, what color need to be? Okay. Get the purple. Put it behind, bring it front, make it cross and twist. These two activities I can do this. They, because they are bored to put into the hole with the pipe cleaners, I make them do. Still I do, but sometimes I need to change like that way. So by that way, slowly, they will know how to touch the edge, make a cross, then Later on, they will make a bow and pull it up. They will learn how to tie up the laces, shoelaces. Okay. And another activity is here. Magnet activities. And this is the way I teach them 
color and sizes and their fine motor you know they will love when it goes together sometimes i use them the metal board i use them lot of metal containers to put there they will design and put it but it's very important uh, here are two different sizes and four different colors four primary colors of magnets and ask them color must be match we are matching two yellow goes together the same size so we'll go together red pick the red one red and the one same this is the bigger size and another one is the smaller size green this is smaller so by that way when they will attach two magnets together they will check the size so they will see use still encourage them to hold them and fix make it fixed with the three fingers three fingers three fingers they will fetch and put and give another container to put it back yellow yellow so they will they will sort out the same size with the same colors by the time we will repeat they will learn about the colors here then the green this is the bigger size then they will automatically you know green will go with green the same size will do same way blue blue will go with blue attach four then we have the orange such another orange they will find from variety orange until orange so it will go together for it here then green green goes with green join put it differently so bigger smaller and as many colors as they know and we can introduce more colors so colors shape and their fine motor each time they are doing their fine motor skill they are balancing their hand control they will automatically will know green hold this this green hold this just go once it is settled they won't try they won't remove this is the control they will learn how to do what to do as instruction with the colors with the sizes and with the hand movements and finger position and finger controls okay then later on ask them put every time give some activity they will must know how to start how to put back after finish one activities make them put back put them back so when they will put them back before they ask them separate them they will remove 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 all of them they remove and put accordingly the same container sometimes you can give different containers to put back so they will know in order you know green goes to green white goes to white red goes to red you know according even the sizes the bigger the bigger magnets will go to the bigger so next time the activities when they will they will bring all the containers and they will mix it up and do and always put back put back the same way and put back the container in the same place in the same shelf Okay, thank you and my next activity is the key rings key rings hanging activities there are different colors and different sizes of key rings the children will do and I, I use the different kind of hangers so I have this one currently I just got it so sometimes I hold it sometimes I fix it with board wall board they will stand and go and do sometimes if the two children together i give them instruction now your turn to follow the turn you know one to one child i just hold like this and ask them put the green first green will go here green i always give some instruction and every time all the activities uh, don't give very easy so they can do it and they will lose their interest sometimes they won't bother sometimes don't give too tough challenge you know if challenging uh, the challenges is so uh, for them can't do they won't try and uh, give a little challenge in between you know always in the middle not too easy not too hard 
as long as they will have interest to go for the second step by second next step by next step so the green then give them say, everything you do even the easy work with instruction rate and continue the work one activity try to continue for some times not very fast to finish if the child can do this one give other way give another way then put them put in the box open the ring change the things do it orange then the blue then yellow then continue once they put according to the according to your instruction let them continue we have a lot of periods put accordingly so the child will look at it their hands you know accordingly they will put red goes on the red green goes on the green orange goes on the orange on the orange blue on blue then go yellow yellow goes on the yellow so until it covers and the container the box will be finished let them continue then ask them put back remove remove the green first take one by one one two then put here uh, red one then two one two make the continue you know their hand to move upwards still the child is there once you hold like this the child has to raise her hand and according to the child's comfortable you know you change your position sometimes make it down if she is not able to reach or can't do if she is able to do make a bit challenging put it up child will look up and put her eye hand coordination her, her hand movements and position finger control everything will go together so that's why you hold the hanger and ask them to continue as instruction after finish everything uh, what we have to do give the different boxes to fill accordingly with the size with the colors put back after putting back all the box to closer all the all the box they will close and put back in the same place in the shelf they must know the location so this is the way to train and my next activity is whiteboard marker and duster activities i have some little dusters for their hand to hold so they will love to hold and clean so ask them to do something like draw some pictures or write some numbers or letters of the alphabet anything just they like to do as instruction give them write one two three you can follow or just like him ask them to draw some shapes some pictures you can shoot draw a fish draw a house and draw the lines draw the sleeping lines standing lines anything make them do this and the child's work is after drawing she has to give another person chance she has to clean the clean the whiteboard and normally the whiteboard i use on the wall one they will raise their hand and clean but uh, this is the one to one classes if the child is so small her hand is so little so i just make them as long as her hand and fingers are working so the child will yes then again follow ask the child to continue anything just draw something or what you can do if uh, you want make her do or make the child to continue some more you can say okay teacher is drawing something look look some patterns oh is the scribbling oh teacher want to draw something but i made like that can you erase for teacher please then she will do then ask her to draw again make her erase make her clean before she put back this is also one of the way uh, to hold the duster to let the child hold the duster and wipe on the standing whiteboard on the standing whiteboard so and sometimes ask her to write with the marker pen she will grab the marker pen 
an understanding board you know this is the uh, this is the another way her fine con motor control will continue on the standing board using the marker on the standing board this position will be the different than lay on the table the way they do use writing so this is the another way to have them even the dusting with the duster so i have lots of colors so they can use green blue yellow white so they will hold grip it's good for gripping <laughs> so they will use as many colors as many things they will draw all over ask them to do as many times as possible this is one of them every time no need to be so challenging this is very easy but they will love to do it as long as they have a different shapes of things to hold not all the time beads and the tiny balls or the some <coughs> other thing common things to do something you know is very thin light and they have a when they will grab it they will handle with care so they cannot loosen their fingers so it will drop so they will hold and make the hand position like this on the standing canvas uh, board to erase wipe off each time they will clean and put them back accordingly next program my next activity is a small board cardboard and i have some paper clips you can look the paper clips colorful paper clips i always collect something which is very colorful the child will love to do that okay so here if the child has a good eye contact hand position already has improved this is my second step the child will put the paper clip accordingly let the child do it the child will put nicely doesn't matter she put accordingly or not let them carry on Even the normal small tiny